In the previous episode, we reached Clan Tier 2, raided more Sturgeon villages in search of bows, and promoted Mosin and Shahram to horse archer companions. Now the question is, how do we get back without getting killed? Obviously, going this way is the fastest, but uh, if there's anybody there, we could lose everything. So let's scout it out first. Oh yeah, there's a lot of people there. And looks like this guy's coming after us. We don't really want that. We're quite a bit faster though, so that's not too big of a deal. It does help now that we are we have cavalry in our party. They're not really cavalry. It's <laughs> it's companions on donkeys and sumter horses. But you know, it's better than nothing. Yeah, let's, let's go the way we came in. It seemed to work pretty well. Let's see if we can get another run. And if we go this side route, this one's less traveled. Yeah, see, look, he's going to be chasing us, but there's no way they catch us at this point. We're too far out of the way. And we did lose access to one of our uh, the, the people that we had in the prisoner. Unfortunately, he got out. Hopefully, this guy gets a, a ransom offer soon because we don't want to lose two. Now, some of these caravans do have bow troops. Like, if you look at this, there's 11 ranged here. Asteroid Archer. Yeah, they've got mostly bow troops. They don't, I don't see any crossbows there. So that would be a good target for us in the future. If we want to farm bows that way, we could do it. They probably have better bows than, than what the militia have. And we lost our other noble. Yeah, that's, that's unfortunate. We didn't make any money from that. But letting him go wouldn't have done anything because we're going to be executing people soon anyway. So relations are going to be non-existent. Now, is this guy scared of us? Yeah, he is. Okay. Well, we don't really want to fight with you anyways. Let's go back home first. Let's check our safe house. So we're losing a little bit of money here. They are consuming food, not getting food. But we are starting to level up. If you look right here, we've got 334 XP out of 1500. If we can get this leveled up, especially to level two, we can use the training field. That's going to make a big difference. And then again, if we get it to level three, that might take a little while. But if we get there, that'll be, be good for us. And we should probably find somebody to be our enforcer. So maybe the next companion we can have. Somebody that's not combat oriented and we can have him just be the enforcer. That might be a good idea. Yeah, I think we just leave it the way it is. Maybe we can find some more slaves, pump this up, and that will increase the rate at which we can increase the level. Yeah, one slave serving is one XP per day, so right now we're getting 38 per day. And we should probably start working on getting control of maybe a town or partnering with somebody. I don't even know what our sneak chance is if we try and get in, but we'll, we'll see. Let's look at the black market. There's some really good stuff here. So this sword looks huge. This looks like it should be a two-hander, but it's not. Pretty expensive. Now we do have somebody that doesn't have a saddle, so we'll do that. It's only 800 dinars. I think it's worth it. And then we should sell some stuff. The, the strength for the force band has actually fell below 1,000. They've either been, get, been getting picked off or they've been converting that strength into actual units to run around. Yeah, we, we definitely need more slaves, that's for sure. Now, what about the caravan? It's mostly infantry. I don't know if that's worth it. 12 caravaneers, so that's really low tier. And oddly enough, we have faster movement speed than they do. So it's going to be really easy to pick off caravans. Yeah, they're really weak too. Let's... We're interested in trading in the sense that we just want to <laughs> we want to get rid of stuff and then steal it back. Well, I don't know what that means. Some interesting business dealings. All right, there we go. We'll take that. And then we're going to ask for it all back. They've got a single calf and nine archers. I think we just push up. Let's go shield wall with both. That should help them survive a little bit. And then the horse archers, we can have them follow. We'll just creep up slowly, shooting the whole time. Look at that. It's beautiful. Six horse archers plus us. Let's get some shots off ourselves, see if we can hit some long distance. That's where the XP is. Yeah, look at that. These guys hit like one or two shots and they already automatically leveled up. Oh, somebody sniped us. That was a good shot. Now we are getting decent hits. Okay, here they go. So they are starting to come in. Oh, they got a charge coming in. That guy's got really good armor. I don't, don't know that we can really do much to him. Yeah, we're going to have to kill him later when he's getting stuck on Cav. Let's move our archers back just a little bit. They should still be able to get some shots off. I think if we target these guys that have really good armor, we could probably target the legs. Right, let's move these guys up a little bit. And what I would like to do is get these archers on a little bit more of a flank. Maybe they can pour some arrows into these. Hit them right in the back. Okay, they're hitting our archer. They're, they're targeting our... Oh, wow, they're hitting them a lot. Yeah, let's back out. So let's pull them back in and see if we can hit these guys maybe from a different angle. Like straight down their side. They'll have to turn their whole line if they want to shoot at us. And we'll give these guys the advance command. See how well that does for them. Oh, what, <laughs> what are they doing? 
They don't even pay. Okay, no, 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 that's not gonna work. What charge? Yeah, we're losing people now because we did that one command. They're just walking in and dying. I don't understand that. Uh, they are starting to shoot. Oh, we did. One of our guys went down. One of our companions. Right, so that's probably not a good idea. In the future, we should just keep them in the back. Let's get some shots on these guys. Oh, wow. I was about to shoot him in the face, and he just took a, a giant javelin to the dome. Yeah, javelins are really effective, at least coming from these guys. I've noticed some of the low-tier javelins don't really do anything. But these high-tier javelins, like from the mountain... What are they called? The mountain bandits? They do a ton of damage. Yep, there you go. This is a perfect example. They're running, so it looks like we lost one companion. I'm really hoping he didn't die. Nope, no death there. So Walid went down. We got four kills. We're past 75, so we do get another perk. Everybody else is leveling up. Night. I wouldn't say fast, but nicely. A couple levels per battle. And we are going to take these because we want to donate them as prisoners. And we didn't get anything good, it looks like, from the bow and arrow side. Actually, it's kind of hard to see. Yeah, not, not much. But we did get a Masterworks. We got a blade that should do pretty well. And for level 75, we're going to take increased bow reload speed. Really, we do most of our shooting from stationary, so I think it's probably better to take this one. And level 51 for Jalolodin is going to be Bodkin. Mosin hit level 2. Let's go ahead and pump up Bow again. And Chakram hit level 3, and we'll top out. So riding and Bow are good for him. We can put it elsewhere now. Oh, can we catch these guys? Yeah, he's not even going the right direction. And let's just auto-resolve this. Should be fine. Ooh, that's not bad at all. Yeah, that should be an upgrade for somebody. Yep, some gloves. Yeah, we're going to be in a really good spot for doing some of these civilian battles. You know, fight fighting the, in the gangs and stuff. Although, they don't really have good one-handed. But at least they'll have decent gear, so they won't get one-tapped. Not like Bjorn the first. And the black market looks like it's got some new stuff, but nothing that we're going to really look too closely at. Some money, though, we can sell some stuff. Now, if we go to the safe house, let's go ahead and throw some of these slaves in there. That's another eight. Yeah, so we're at 46 now. That should help level up. Now, we are having a little bit of a chance for death per day, just because we have enough people in there. So the more people we put, the more chance there are there is that they die. And they also use up more food, so we should probably put some food back in the stash. We have an incredible amount. Yeah, grain and fish. We just have so much. Let's get rid of some of this. We don't need nearly that much. Actually, we could probably get rid of even more, but that's fine for now. So if we go to the... Yeah, 145 in storage, that's more than enough. Let's, uh, let's give these guys a second to heal up. All right, back to full health. Man, we have so much stuff we gotta sell. We've got three bows, so we can upgrade some more people. We should probably focus on doing that and getting rid of some of this stuff. We just have so many items. And yeah, let's make sure we don't accidentally sell these. And we should probably keep an eye out for some of these shields that, that can be used in the civilian setting as well. Like that one we don't want to use. We, we can put it to better use on the civilian setting. Ooh, that's a pricey shield. 5,300. Let's, let's put it on somebody else though. Actually, that reminds me, we can use bow and arrow on the civilian setting. If we double up, everybody gets two bows. That would be really cool. Because in the civilian setting, it's even easier. Nobody has any armor. They don't have any shields. So it should be even even better for us. Now, let's do this. Let's... We still need to take a shield. I think we'll probably take one that's going to have good coverage. This one seems pretty good. Oh, it says the desert oval's better. It's still got a good coverage. That's fine. Yeah, we just have so much stuff. And we, there's no way we can sell it all. I think even one caravan is not going to be enough. So let's go take a look at the city, see if we can sneak in there. Our roguery is really high, and our clan rank is not that high. It's only clan rank 2, so we should have a decent chance. The higher clan rank you have, the more chances there are to spot you when you're trying to sneak in, so it doesn't really work. So disguise yourself and sneak through is 100%. So that's really, really good. Yeah, we'll take it. And now that we're in the town, we can't trade, but we can deal with some of this stuff like we need to deal with get rid of some of these, the clearing, waterfront, things like that. And we got to talk to these gang leaders and we want to prove skill we need to increase the relations with these people so a couple things we can do we can pickpocket people we can take care of guards kill some guards basically uh we can steal stuff and run or we can fight people uh persuasive messenger that one's new to me i don't know what that is oh interesting that's the one that's the bar fight there's one in there that i didn't recognize then all right let's go to the tavern we've got our pole arm and some throwing daggers so i don't know who we're supposed to talk to here about it but all of our boys are here as well in case we need the backup all right so we entice him to fight <laughs> Hussein's gonna stab him. He's got his he's got his personal shield out, so that's good. Yeah, this guy's cheering for the fight. So that does that mission. We gotta wait a little bit before we can do more. And we could do some other things we can scam, which we might as well do. We're here. 180, not bad. And apparently scamming people makes you charming. 
That's nice to know. Now, there's not much else we can do here until we get high enough relations. So probably not worth doing a whole lot here beside that. Uh, well, it's good to know. At least we can get in and out of the town pretty easily. So in the future, if we need to, this can be a good base of operations, especially since it's really close to the hideout that we took over. Right, let's keep looking for, for more targets. We, we got to find more. What is going on here? This guy's just stuck in the mountains. 25 ranged. Woo. That's a lot. There's a big variety, which makes me think there's some pretty decent levels in there. Actually, what about this guy? What do you got? A lot of infantry, Nord Companion, Huskarl. Those are high tier. So they would probably want to fight us. No, they don't actually. Interesting. And there's an even smaller group. That would be probably the preferred target. Oh, they just switched sides. Doesn't matter. We're enemies with everybody. Doesn't matter who you're part of. Well, good day to you. Yeah, we'll take this. We, we definitely want this fight. They've got five archers we got to deal with. We've got seven archers. So I think we're in better shape here. And we'll move over to the left. We want to make sure we maintain the high ground here. It's not going to make a big difference, but in a fight like this, we don't want to lose guys. Every little advantage we can take. Now, they are going to go for that hill, it looks like. We're still going to have a little height advantage here. All right, let's uh, take some shots here, see if we can help as well. I can't even see where they're going. It's raining really hard. We, we almost have to aim close to vertical. All right, they're coming off their hill. No, nope, they're just repositioning then. Our guys are still 80 meters away, so we're, we're pretty big distance away. All right, we're going to leave our guys on the hill. Even if they're not getting good hits, it's fine. Right, we're hitting that guy that's got a lot of armor, so it's not really doing any damage, but we are getting good XP for it, so we'll keep shooting at him. Hit him in the toe. <laughs> Writing's almost at 100, though. That's good. They're going to take out the horse. we got to back out. How are we doing? Oh, our guys are pretty much out of ammunition, so we do need to push in. Let's go ahead and move the troops. We'll get two angles again. We'll go one, one group top of the hill, one kind of right in the front. Yeah, here they come. Let's move our archers in a little bit closer. All right, two, group two shield wall. They should be able to hold position. No, no we're already losing people. All right, group two, we want them to move. All right, sorry, group one on the left, we want them to move straight into the archers. All right, one more hit and our horse is dead. Let's not lose our horse. Right, apparently, we just walked straight through their formation and didn't do anything about it. Oh, I forgot to give the charge command. That's really annoying that they reposition like that. I mean, it's good on their part. Another thing I got to keep in mind. I keep forgetting. I don't want to just give the charge command because then they'll start moving this way too. Oh, Appy's got a kill. Okay. Appy's stop killing our guys, man. At one, we should charge. There we go. So they should be in good shape now. Alright, we can give these guys the charge command. They've got nothing else to do. And we only gave them bow and arrow and spear. So now they're forced to use the spear. So they should be a bit more affected mounted. Oh, no, no, you don't want... Oh, he killed him. Walid got him. I thought he was about to get destroyed. Good on him. So Walid got the one hit. Very nice. Yeah, it doesn't look like they got any hits. Otherwise, we see some some XP gain here for bow or, or at least mounted. But I don't see anything. And unfortunately, we're going to take you prisoner. You're probably going to get out. But what can you do? A couple upgrades. Very nice. They had a really nice mace and a little bit of beer. Now this says we've got a pretty big advantage. 25 ranged and I see quite a few bow and arrow behind him. So that would be the ideal situation. Let's go ahead and trade first. See what they got for us to steal. It looks like it's mostly trade goods. There's no good equipment in here. And a little bit of beer, not a lot. And they only have 5k, so kind of interesting that they're, they're not having that, as much money. Let's get rid of some of our mounts as well. There we go. So we'll take the 5k and then we'll take it right back. And it looks like they're retreating all the way back. So I think we need to be somewhat aggressive here. Let's see if we can push for this hill. If we can get there first, maybe that'll force them to back off. Yeah, we'll, we'll put our archers back here kind of a decent distance so that they're not... Well, no, they're going to get... Yeah, we're, we're going to get hit pretty bad here. Now what we're going to do is let's, let's push in some infantry here. Some infantry here. Yeah, if we can take the the majority of the shots, that'll keep our companions safe. I'm fine with that. Although I think they're going to be targeting our, our, our boys. Let's get some shots off these guys. 
they are in a decent range here. We can get some... I think we can get some kills here. This is going to be nice, though. They're going to have bows. For sure, they're going to drop bows. Okay, let's... Let's stop. Let's go shield wall. When they get in a position, we'll shield wall. And it looks like they're still targeting our companions. I don't think they're shooting at our guys. At least some of them. And we'll let them battle it out. Actually, group two... Group two can push up. Yeah, push that advantage. There's two people in front of you. And then once they're done, we can send them all the way back. Looks like they're done. Alright, now that we're watching... Oh, no, no, no. There we go. But they're already moving back, so let's move them back. Try and cut them off a little bit. We'll have our archers follow us, because we need to keep them in a decent range. So they can get some XP. Right, we are starting to lose some people. They're pretty much running at this point. They're not, like, falling back. They're just straight running. All right, they're turning now, so this is going to be kind of nasty. All right, group two, we need to charge them in. Right, let's get some good, smart shots here. All right, we can't miss. We got our aimbot enabled. <laughs> we got a, a good running headshot. Oh, good shot. I saw that one coming. Right, these guys can't catch. They're in line formation, and they still can't catch these archers. What is going on here? Catch them, boys. All right, and I don't know what's going on back there. I'm in a line formation charge. Yeah, they just took out the last guy, so they'll join us here. All right, we got to be careful here. They're turning to shoot. All right, take as many of them as we can before they get shots off. All right, we can't let them run at all costs. We need their bows. Oh, yeah, stab them. There we go. Now, we don't want to give up the Mountain Brigand. We could do Brigand Infantry. That's fine. These are the looter. These guys are the looters. I don't really mind giving them up. We do have room for two more, so I think we'll take both. Like I said, at this point, we need to really speed things up. All right, you are shot in the throat, and you are bad. Yep. We lost two. Brigand and... Oh, wow. We lost the Mercenary Legionary. That guy was really, really big, but I guess he took too much damage. That's okay. Yeah, Mohassin got three kills. Valid got four. Hussein with one. So these guys did pretty good. Some of them didn't really do much. But it's good to see that they are having a good effect. They're not just, you know, useless space. And we'll take all the prisoners. We'll take all the loot. That looks like a good helmet. Oh man, that's devastating. We got no bows out of that. Everybody dropped their arrows, but no bows. Oh, that's a shame. Let's go ahead and switch this. So this is a 40 gram. Let's switch it out with a 70 gram. And it's... It's going to want to keep getting rid of it for some reason. 60 gram is probably good. 40 gram we want to get rid of. Let's switch that with a 50 gram and lock it. That's fine. Let's just take everything else. All right, back home. And let's check out our two new companions here. So we got Sunat and Rashid. And again, both of these guys are going to have some gear ready for, ready to go. They've got the bow and riding skills as well. So we should be in really good shape here. Let's let them take whatever they want. Except you are getting a Sumter. We can't really afford to give up these uh, these mounts yet because we do need the movement speed. Now, as far as gear goes, shield is fine. We need a spear. Masterwork short militia bow. Uh, Masterwork short militia spear looks good, although it seems to think there's a better one. Cracked common spear. Got it. Whatever you say, uh, <laughs> equip best item. Now we got two 70 pound composite bows ready to go. Let's... Yeah, we'll do the 60 gram as well. That one seems to be pretty good. And again, Rashid, we're going to go ahead and give him a spear. It's going to switch it out anyways. And then 60 gram arrows. And Sumter Horse, sorry, you don't get the nice one. And then civilian gear, he's in good shape. We, we can deal with the civilian gear later. It's going to be tough because we, we don't have a whole lot of throwing weapons. But we do have some decent one-handers. There's there's some ones with some good stats. So I think we'll be in good shape if we do that. And we've got a ton of just so much loot. We really do need to get rid of some of this stuff. Luckily, this the black market at the safe house does have some, some money each time. It's it's not much. Yes, yeah, it's, it's definitely not that much. But let's get rid of some of the animals. And as far as prisoners go, there's nothing here that we can really use. So let's just go ahead and put them back in. Now, the strength is going up. 1,003. We didn't do anything to, to increase their strength. So it looks like they are going up on their own. But safe house, we'll go ahead and put them in in the slaves. What does that look like? 58. Zero to one deaths per day. Not, not bad at all. And how is our upgrade looking? 
464. So we're a third of the way to level two. That's that's not bad at all. Like I said, we really want to get the training field. That's going to be huge. We can start training up our companions, either one-handed or polearm skills. They're going to need a lot of that. Now we can still only put 20 troops here. So, and we could do some banditry. I don't think it's really worth it though, because they don't really get that much food. You really have to put a ton. So I think it's better we just manually put it. We keep getting a ton. Here we go. Grant, we, we went down to 50 and it's back up to 153 already. Or we, we went down, we basically gained 50 of each of these in the last couple battles. So let's just keep dumping them out. We'll stock up on food here. Yeah, almost maxed out there. So that'll be good. And we hit level 100 riding on our main. So this for sure is going to be sweeping winds. So this increases mount top speed and increases party speed on the campaign map. That is just, even though it's not a big difference, it does make a, a you know, every little bit helps. So 4.42, that puts us up to 4.51. So almost 0.1. And I think we should keep targeting these caravans. They seem to be easy pickings here in the forest. We have enough movement speed from our cav. We can catch up with these guys. Oh man, we lost our, our noble. We have so much money, even just one group. So all of our weapons is enough to make take all their money. The range is enough to take all the money. All right, we'll take 10k and then we'll take all this stuff back. They've got a few more cav this time, so that does give me a little bit of pause. I'm wondering if we should keep our, our infantry grouped up a little bit more. I'm not sure, but we can definitely use this this little river right here to, to slow their movements down. I think we can keep all of our troops here. Yeah, it's pretty deep too. Infantry, move. Let's get the infantry spread out a little move. bit. Yeah, if we can get some shots off on their cab. Here we go. Yep. All right, let's just take the take the horses out. That's all we really needed to do. All right, they're charging these guys in. They're probably going to turn back before they get here, but maybe not. All right, let's get all these guys to rear up. Yep, get off your horse. Get out of here. <laughs> He's toast. He's all alone. He's going to get pelted to death here. All right, no more shield. Should be easy pickings now. Oh, wow, he's very well armored, though. So his horse was not armored, but he was. Right, we don't want, to, don't want to push too fast here. Oh, what's going on? All right, they got one of the cab down, it looks like. Now, where their, their infantry are sitting behind that little hill. Come on. Don't be a coward. Come get some. Come and get some. Oh, good shot. Valid and Motion got, got a hit there. Yeah, these, these archers are actually working out really well. Can't wait to see what they're like when they have better skills and better equipment. Let's get these guys back. We're going to charge both infantry. They don't have a whole lot, so I think we just go in. Mounted archers can follow. Let's go harass their archers. Yeah, they're pretty much cleaning up at this point. Let's get these guys back here on a nice little flank. Hopefully they don't turn. We just blast these guys in oblivion. I don't know what they're shooting. Are they facing the wrong way? One guy is. There's always that one guy that's facing the wrong direction, huh? Like, don't be that guy. Oh, we shot our own Sea Raider. We're definitely not upgrading the Mountain Brigand. That's the one guy we cannot afford to upgrade. That's not ours. Ooh, good shot. The map got the kill on that. All right, no losses there, surprisingly. We did uh, take quite a bit of damage from, from what I could hear anyways. Sound like people are getting shot. A little bit of levels on everybody. There's not really anything to write home about. I think they had mostly low tier though. Because getting this kind of kills, we would expect to see more um, more levels, but that wasn't the case. Take all the prisoners, and of course all that loot we'll take right back. A little bit of upgrades here and there, nothing too crazy. And level 250 roguery, man, we are so close to 275. I can't believe how fast this thing's going. So we're either going to get increased speed bonus while on foot, or increased movement speed when you don't have any shield or weapons. And then also increase escape chance from uh, mobile parties by 30%. We don't plan on getting captured too much, so that's probably not going to help us. To increase speed bonus while on foot, I guess that could be useful. We're not going to be on foot too often. Same thing with flee to foot, though. I feel like they're both kind of the same. Uh, we could use the captain perk, get more damage of two-handed weapons. That could be okay, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. We'll, we'll do that one. I can't think of too many scenarios where we're not going to have any gear equipped and why we would want to run around without anything. That's, that's kind of a weird perk. Hussein is level six and we've already got bow and riding done. So we should probably focus on polearm and one handed. I think polearm first. That, that should be the priority. And then same thing here. We're going to max out bow first. 
We'll lead with level four. Let's go ahead and put a control. Those are all good. Let's put the rest into bowl arm. And Mosin is now capped, riding and bow. And for some reason, Rashid has a negative one. That uh, must be something with, with the mod. Let's see if we can fix that. Yeah, I'm not sure if I get rid of it. I tried a couple things. We could add attribute points manually through the console command, but that's fine. We'll, we'll just let it go. Hopefully he gets an extra point. If not, we can just do one manually. Yeah, so this is this is working out pretty well. We should We should probably keep doing that. We do need to get more bow and arrow. If we can get this group up to, say, like 20 or 30, I think that would be perfect. Getting 20 or 30 bow and arrow is not going to be an easy task, though. That's the thing I'm a little bit concerned about. All right, let's head back. We should probably pick up a few. Let's see, we have been losing a few people here and there. These guys are in the woods. Let's just do these. So we are going to take the foot pad and the lack. Actually, no, we'll take the ruffian, too. Why not? We don't want to slow down too much by having a big party that, you know, we don't have mounts for, but I think this is okay. 67 is okay. And then we need to start upgrading these guys. Black market's got more money and we can buy needle bodkin arrows, 90 grams. Probably worth it. Yeah, it's only 600. So we'll definitely buy that. And let's get rid of some of the heavier stuff here. Definitely don't need any of this. And back at the safe house, let's see if we add these other nine. What does that do? So we're zero to one deaths per day. Still zero to one. So that's not too bad. I know if you go, the higher you go, the more deaths you'll incur or the more chances that you'll have of having somebody die. But they're all slaves anyways. It doesn't really matter. They do consume more food though. So we have to put food in more, more frequently. Actually, let's top that out. We've got enough grain here. We can probably put another 40 or 50. Yeah, that should be fine. Here we go. Let's see if we can take these guys out. Oh, that's not good though. Yeah, we don't want to do a 31 cav. That's not going to end well. Oh, we got two guys chasing us. All right, let's just hide in the hideout. Let's use it. We're here. We should definitely take advantage of it. I, I don't want to have these guys tailing us for an hour. Oh, as soon as we pop out, they come back to us. Cool. Like they seem distracted enough. We can probably pop out now. Now, as far as caravans go, there's 17 cav and 9 horse archers. 25 range. That is a lot of range units. What about the Batanians? Yeah, the Batanians have got a little bit of range too. 16. I think this one's probably better though. 25 range units is, is huge. Here we go. We caught them. Let's go ahead and get rid of some of our stuff. Now these guys have some mounts, so if we defeat them, hopefully we get these these three mounts. I don't think we'll get all of them, but if we can get at least one. And then not too much beer. Yeah, they don't really have a whole lot that we want, but we'll take the money and we'll take our stuff back. And I think this time we've really got to push hard. We, we I don't want those archers to really pick us apart because 25 archers is a lot. Infantry! It's almost as much as each of our, our infantry divisions, which is not a good thing. Yeah, they're taking some pretty big hits. Somebody dead already. Right, let's move these guys up. I think, yeah, they're going to default to this side. So let's let's get them in position. These guys on the right side, group one, just have them push straight back. And try and defend them. There we go. Get rid of that spearman. All right, let's move. Archers are going to stay right here. Hopefully they can get some decent shots off. I'm going to actually move the archers slightly behind. Maybe they can get some shots off on those guys. And we need to focus on these archers because these will be absolute destruction if we don't deal with them now. They still have 25. We haven't taken a single one out. Yeah, look at that. One volley is absolutely destroying us. Right, let's go and charge them in now. We gotta try and hit headshots on these guys. It's the only way we're gonna get kills. There we go. We're getting shots. They're doing pretty well, actually. They're cleaning them up. They're actually keeping up with them this time. Alright, let's get the archers with us. They can maybe get some shots. Right, Mountain Bringing is not upgrading, unfortunately. Can't afford that. There we go, that's it. So we lost three, a foot pad, and two ruffians. That's fine. We just hired those guys too, so they're expendable. And who got the kills? The caravaneer, the guild archer. Yeah, only one lost to the spearmen. Everything else was archers. These are both archers. 
I'm really hoping we got some bow and arrow on this because that was a lot. 25 is a lot, especially considering it made up the bulk of their, their troops. I think they get you get a percentage chance for any item to drop. So if you have more archers than anything else of the items that drop, you should have a, a higher percentage of, you know, bow and arrow and stuff. So pretty good. These guys didn't do too great. So not got three. Rashid with one, with two. Everybody else kind of farted around, didn't do too much. And yeah, we'll take the prisoners. We will upgrade. I see a Pugio, which is unfortunate because it is a throwing weapon, but it's only got a stack size of one. So that's pretty much useless. What is going on? Where They don't drop their, their bows. What, why? I don't know why that is. That's really bizarre. I think we just have to go back to raiding. That's the only way we're going to get those. So that's fine. We got some good loot here. Boots, gloves, upgrades. Yeah, there's some good... There's some good upgrades here at least. And I did see that we got more roguery. We got another like two or three levels just from that one battle. So we'll, we'll be at 275 pretty quick. And that's going to give us even more loot from these battles. We're obviously going to need it. We're going to need it so we can get more bow and arrow. And also we're, we're going to need it so we, can, so we can keep funding these armies. Now we could take these guys, these step brigands. How are they looking? They do upgrade. Yeah, they upgrade to cav. We don't want to give up our, our cav. We can take the bandit lackey. Let's just take them. We won't ever upgrade them though. Yeah, they'll just be a meat shield. 